In today's video, we are going to review the Ashworth scale and the modified Ashworth scale, also known as the MAS, and we'll go ahead and compare them head to head. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video if you find this helpful. Traditionally, both the original Ashworth and the modified Ashworth scale have been used to measure muscle spasticity. And it's mostly used with individuals who have central nervous system disorders or conditions such as cerebral palsy, stroke, or spinal cord injury, since central nervous system damage often leads to muscle spasticity. The Ashworth scales are fairly well studied and its reliability and validity has shown some mixed results. The updated Pedretti textbook recommends to use these scales as ordinal scales to measure resistance to passive movement. This this means it is still considered a good scale to communicate a general level or amount of resistance to passive movement, but its mixed results in reliability means evidence can't confirm consistent intervals between each level on the scale, making it an ordinal scale, and the mixed validity results means it's probably more accurate to say it tests resistance to passive movement than to say it specifically tests spasticity. The original Ashworth scale is a five-point scale and it was later updated to increase the sensitivity of the scale by adding one more level. This updated version is the modified Ashworth scale, which is now a six point scale. We'll compare them side by side in case you run into either one. This video will be mostly about the scale itself. However, just to give you a sense of what the testing looks like, the test is done by applying quick passive movement by the therapist to a limb or body part in the opposite direction of that muscle's pull. For example, if you're testing the bicep for spasticity, you would start in the flex position, move the lower arm quickly while supporting the elbow in order to extend the bicep and the elbow. While doing this, the therapist would be feeling for a catch or a sudden increase in tone. And based off of what the therapist feels a score will be given using either the Ashworth or the modified Ashworth scale. I highly recommend having an OT or a healthcare professional who's experienced in doing the assessment show you how to do this before trying it on someone. Let's review the original Ashworth scale first. So looking at the original Ashworth scale, and this is a five point scale starting at zero, going all the way to four. Zero meaning there's no increase in tone. One means there's a slight increase in tone with usually a catch that's kind of a sudden slight increase in tone somewhere in the range of motion as the therapist is moving the limb through its range of motion. Two means there's a marked increase in tone. However, the limb is still easily flexed. Three means that there's a considerable increase in tone with passive movement being difficult. So if the therapist is trying to move the limb through its range of motion, it would be difficult for the therapist. A four means that the limb is rigid in either flexion or extension. So the therapist would not be able to move the limb. Now let's move on to the modified Ashworth scale it's very similar to the original Ashworth scale. Let's take a look. The modified Ashworth scale is a six point scale starting at zero going to four. However, it has this one plus level which allows the therapist to be a little bit more detailed about what that slight increase in tone looks like. So zero means that there's no increase in tone similar to the original Ashworth. One means that there's a slight increase in tone and this can look like a catch and release meaning at some point in the range of motion there's a catch or a slight increase in tone and then that tone is released or there's a slight increase of tone at the end of the range of motion of that joint. With a one plus there's also a slight increase in tone but with this there is a catch and no release at less than half the range of motion. So it just allows you to be a little bit more specific about that slight increase in tone and again is indicative of a little bit more tone. Two means there's a marked increase in tone similar to the original Ashworth. The limb is easily flexed by the therapist. A three it means there's considerable increase in tone similar to the original Ashworth worth, meaning that it's difficult for the therapist to move the limb through its passive range of motion. And then again, four means the limb is rigid in extension or flexion, depending on what muscle groups are spastic. Thanks for joining me on the OT Minute today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are kept up to date regarding new content coming out on this channel. We'll see you in the next video.